Three. Okay, so this is part three of what I believe was a channel or a vision from our true creator, God, who I call Homer for home. Okay, so he decided after a while that he wanted to create something else, someone that he could live with on his home planet. So he went back into his laboratory and took his masculine and feminine aspect of his entity and divided it and created a man and a woman. The man was 100% male energy and had the entire aspect of the male entity. And the female was all feminine. So then his first creations from the splitting the masculine and the feminine energy was Lucifer and Eve, which is also the first penis and the first vagina. So since he created this, this was the very first penis and vagina, which created the very first child from the womb. And uh, if you think about Pendar and the Illuminati and all the phallus of the dragon, the penis of the dragon, it's all, that's one reason it's all connected to that. <clears throat> okay, so Lucifer and Eve. Now remember, Lucifer and Eve were created without a mother. Lucifer was all masculine energy and he was created as a partner or a friend to Homer. And Eva was created more like a child or a daughter. Lucifer was completely five senses. He had the master qualities of sight, sound, smell, taste, and touch. He was a genius with science and mathematics and formulas, and he also had the entire blueprint of creation. He was all man, and Eva was more angelic and emotional. She was not so dense in matter, and she could float and move with the wind. She was 100% emotions and extrasensory perception, and feminine energy. Now, Lucifer did not have emotions when he was first created. Um, like the others, because he was created purely physical, all masculine. But from the moment of, that he was created, he began to develop feelings and emotions, very slowly. But it would take a very, very long time for him to have the balance of his feminine energy. Just as Eve was not created physical, and it would take a long time for her to develop her masculine energy. But what happened is he tricked her into, you know, because the more she interacted with the citizens of heaven and people, and, um, you know, the penis and vagina, and the more that there was lust without love and the sex, and he got her caught up in vanity, you know, and, and thinking that she was better than everybody else, and vanity and ego. And so she became more dense way too fast, her masculine energy, so she kind of like, you know, real fast, more than she, unnaturally. Okay, so, um, Lucifer did not have emotions like the others because he was created purely physical. Of course, from the moment of creation, he began to develop feelings and emotions, but it would take a very long time, just as Eve, to develop her masculine um, energies. So now this planet was much more lively, and God used to love to have mental debates with Lucifer on science and mathematics. And he also realized that Lucifer won 7 out of 10, because Lucifer was, in fact, as intelligent as a living computer. So was God, but God had emotions, and when he created Lucifer and Eve, he did not know what the outcome would be of his creation of the two. He was just experimenting and experiencing. Um, he was just experimenting and experiencing. And he realized that Lucifer was all knowledge, logic, and intellect, and also had to constantly satisfy his five senses in order to thrive. And he was very, very, very slowly growing the nerves and receptors for feelings and intuition and emotions. Lucifer and Homer would debate and test the wits of intelligence with each other, but sometimes God wished that Lucifer was not so serious because it was not that serious. Like when Lucifer wanted to debate, Homer would laugh a bit, Homer God, he would laugh a big hearty laugh, and then Lucifer would just stare at him blankly, and God would sigh and think to himself, wow, it's almost like he's not even human. And then because God was a divine human, and so the other planets and tribes, tribes would come to see and visit and meet the new additions to the family. And it found it puzzling to them because Lucifer did not smile or laugh or enjoy the colors or the cosmic roller coasters that flew from one planet to the next. And they found it nearly impossible to relate or understand to this Lucifer. And so the other people of the 12 tribes, the 12 planets, would come to visit and Eva, since she was 100% of the female aspect of God, she also had the 12 chakras inside of her. And just like her father. So Homer and Eve were the only ones with the 12 functioning inside her. Although she was, so basically, well, okay. Although she was, okay. Although um, she functioned with five and until she became more physical, 
the other seven allowed her to become more flesh rather than just a spirit, which happened quite quickly. She was able to materialize herself through interactions with the other citizens of heaven um, and with Lucifer having sexual intercourse, uh, the more that they fucked her, the more physical she became. So every day Lucifer was developing emotions and feelings growing inside of him. And Eve was glorified and brought gifts. And she was the queen of heaven or the mother of the twelve tribes, even though she was created much, much later than them. And Homer was brought gifts and honored and glorified because he was the father, the creator, and the god over the tribes. And Eva was glorified and fussed over too. Enoch, I see, was the entity that was created from Homer's crown chakra. So he was the most like God and had all the memories of God inside him. Now Lucifer was beginning to develop new feelings of emotions and he noticed that he was ignored. He was not glorified and fussed over and brought gifts by the people. He was left out. And plus the people were kind of, they didn't understand him because he didn't smile and he was like... But his first feelings that he grew were being left out. So his first feelings, this is where the very first feelings of jealousy and feeling rejected and hate developed. Um, so he developed the very first feelings of jealousy and hate. He wanted to be worshipped. He wanted to be brought gifts. He wanted to be glorified. And no one did this to him. So he soon realized that because of the emotional qualities of humans, that they were easily manipulated and tricked into doing his will. And he also realized that the more he could get Eve to indulge in the accesses of the physical senses, um, especially sex, the more physical and less angelic she became. So that's just like a part of this vision. This vision that I received is much, much, much more than that. It goes way into detail. Um, but to make a long story, story short, Lucifer having the blueprints for creation and creating, um, okay, like God, one of the planets, there was other planets that were created, like where the dinosaurs, Earth, you know, the dinosaurs here, and that was before, um, uh, that, you know, Lucifer kind of used them like video games, you know, but they were created out of the mermaids and the reptilians because Lucifer slaughtered the mermaids and Eve agreed to leave heaven and she he knew he needed her body in order to reproduce and stuff and um, he wanted to kill God and they slaughtered the mermaids and took the DNA from the mermaids oh and another thing too the mermaids they wanted to have a baby so bad the seven of them you know and they would feel lonely in the oceans and they they wanted to be able to re reproduce themselves and since Eve was the first woman to be able to reproduce a child Homer and the seven mermaids lent their DNA and the seven spirits of the mermaids to Eve so that she would be a surrogate mother and carry a child for them. And so, but when they slaughtered the mermaids and, um, and every, all hell broke loose, Eve and Lucifer left with that child, which was God's and the mermaids. And um, so the reptilians, the Sangarians would be made out of this and, uh, but I, I'm not really sure how it all goes down, but see, God, when he created all his creations, he create, put everything into it. He didn't leave anything out. He gave him all his powers and access to everything. He did not know that they would all turn against him. And since he put so much of himself into his creations, when Lucifer gathered up, they say a third of the angels fell from heaven. Well, what they did was they left. <laughs> okay, because Lucifer gathered them together and said, you know, this is boring here. They didn't want to hear the mermaids sing. And they were like, you know, I thought it was just, ugh, like that, you know. And so he got them to indulge in perverted things and um, and uh, I think that might be why the reptilians like anal sex so much or something is because they all just had pee holes. No, I'm just, the other ones, no, I'm just kidding. I don't know that. Anyway, the, the mermaids were slaughtered and um, Homer, the very last thing he said to Eve before she left, he's like, please, my daughter, don't leave. And he made a rainbow in the sky so beautiful and there was the two butterflies and he was like, Please don't do this to me. Please, I love you. Don't go. And she's like, <sighs> tossed her hair all vain, thinking she was the shit and everything, and, you know, whatever. And then as soon as she left, and they left, and then God, Homer, he didn't make any, you know, he he was real sad and, and gentle, but until then when she walked out the door, when they separated and broke, severed the divine umbilical cord, then God just, <laughs> and the whole thunders, thunder and lightning and the whole entire universe just shook forever. I mean, it was just like, ah. Oh. You know, and then he went like comatose, like into like a, like an egg, like like a, a, I'm not sure what happened after that, but, um, yeah, I have to think about it, um, I have to channel this, but anyway, I'm out of time.
Uh, I got more stories to tell you. I love you guys. I'll see you uh, boho. Woohoo!